Hello friends, welcome back to Koi my channel. Let's learn how to play Renegade today. Alright guys, so during the leveling event at Seal Online, I met a new character. It is a Renegade. I never made a night job before whenever I play Seal Online because I got motion sickness. But I actually got interested on playing Renegade, so here I am telling you guys how to play Renegade. So the skill that, I, that was taught by me by my friend and then my friend was learning it from another friend as well. He Both of them has a YouTube channel, so feel free to check it out. Link will be in the description below. And then for the first skill that you have to take is Sport Combo level 3 and Chivalry at level 3. Both are passive skill, just take it at the prerequisite to take the next uh, skill. And then the night skill is divided into two different categories. The first one is single hit target and then the second one is an area target. Um, for impact crash, just take it at level 3, that's fine. It explodes and deals damage breaking target weapon. So there's a combo that you have to take You have to take uh, together with impact crash, I will explain it later. And then impact explosion at level 15, it gives you protection debuff when using potential enemy. And then DOT, e DOT impact at level 5, it gives you additional DOT damage. Um, and then for Grand Sport, I only took it at level 10. It'll be nice if you were able to get it at Master level. But for this, uh, for my Renegade, I was only managed to get it to level 10. And then for Holy Cross, I'll take it at level 3, Grand Cross at level 5, Holy Punishment at level 10, and Deadly Cross at level 20. Why do I take these two skill for Renegade, even though Renegade is mostly played um, playing single target skill? That's because you'll need it when you're tanking at waterway dungeon you'll need these two skill to take aggro monsters when your dps is hitting them so you'll need to keep the aggro uh, to aggro the aggro to you and you'll need these two skills and then provoke ticket at level five multi provoke at level five for movement on the process changing your job to renegade i would say take the movement movement later when you have the rest of the sp left and because you will want to focus on getting the other skill first, for example, throw shield, just take it at level 1. This is used to take monsters when tanking at dungeon. And then defense guard at level 5 because this is similar, has a similar function with berserker iron blood. So you might want to take this. This is important when you're tanking at dungeons too. And then infinity guard and shield master. Shield master, you have to take it at level five because it is increased when equipping the shield. It's a shield for warrior. War it's a shield for renegade. And this is half. This is a passive that you have to master. And then it increases your defense by thirty percent as well. So make sure to master this passive. And for infinity guard so if you're a ddi 100 percent renegade you don't have to take this infinity guard to level to maybe you you, you if you want to take it that's fine you can take it at level five probably it increase your evasion and defense for the duration of bro i think it's about 30 minutes but if you're DDI 100%, you actually don't have to take this at all. And the rest of the SP, you can accumulate it to Grand Sword. But if you're a DD, uh, if you're below DDI 100% like me, if you're only like within 80 or 90 range of DDI, you probably want to take Infinity Guard. Uh, I use all the rest of my SP to my Infinity Guard, so I was at level 17 for my Infinity Guard. So for Renegade skill, you can actually master all the skill except for Vengeance. You don't have to take Vengeance at level 15 or level max or any kind of level. Just put it at level 1 because it increases your attack by 45 but then it will decrease your defense by the same amount for 2 seconds. You don't want your defense to be lowered or reduced by any kind of skill. So don't take Vengeance any further than level 1 but for damnation and disintegrate i were still at level 10 because i am still at level 267 but if you were at level 20, 271 this skill can be mastered so what is a break weapon break weapon skill um you, you destroy your target attack by 200 by 25 percent for six seconds break armor you reduce the defense by 20 percent for six seconds and then potential level one and then him potential level one is already mastered hemorrhage level one and so what is hemorrhage hemorrhage is you give like an extra damage after using impact explosion dot impact transport and deadly crash but for potential having you have extra power extra damage after using weapon break armor break shock impact and it'll create a stronger debuff impact condition 
Okay, so moving on to Renegade Quick Slot, there's certain skill that you have to put it side by side. For example, the first skill that you have to take, so it depends on the Quick Slot. I usually use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, the one to one to zero Quick Slot, and then F1 to F10. I use it for my potions and another skill but for the active skill that i use the most i use one to zero it depends on your play style you can change it you can swap it the way you want it um so first of all it's throw shield you have to if you're tanking at waterway you want to take you want to have your throw shield at whatever closest to you so i put it at you can put it at either number one or you put it at f1 so i put it at f1 and then the first skill that you might want to put side by side first is break armor and impact explosion so why impact armor and so why those two skill that's because if you're only using just to break armor you'll see that there's this white circle below it but there's only one of it but if you use it together with impact explosion there's two circle down below that means the debuff against the monsters especially in ingela or any other bosses in waterway it means the debuff works so if you if you see those two circles down below the monsters which means that the debuff works so the next skill is break weapon and impact crash so break weapon and impact crash if you use it all together you'll see the, the there's two red circle down below but if you only see but if you're only using the impact crash you'll you only see one of the circles so i'll show you that so you see Or, or not even at all and then if you're only using break weapon there's only one so which means if you're using break weapon and impact explosion together you'll see that there's the red circle two red circle down below it means that even though the break weapon is at level three even though the impact crash is only at level three but the debuff works against bosses and then the next skill is deadly crash and holy punishment these two skills are the one that you'll need to take aggro monsters from dungeon and this is also you have to put it side by side it's a combo skill and deadly cross it recover your hp by 5000 so let's show you this so did you see on top of my head there's like a green 5000 so if you spam this skill every time you're tanking you'll keep increasing 5000 of your hp recovery and then the nice thing when you're using this two skill is to take monsters to you so and then what you can do when when there's a monsters that get away from you during tanking you can first use provoke use provoke to the monster and then you'll use deadly cross and holy punishment together it will bring the aggro of the monsters back to you so that's the useful of deadly cross so even in sage heart mode or any dungeons if you're just spamming this um break armor impact explosion break weapon and impact cross this is basically the debuff skill for renegade and then next we have damnation and disintegrate so what is this two skill this is skill is basically a poison and a damage over time skill so if you're using damnation over on when tanking uh, you and then you use damnation skill it it creates damage over time while you'll mobbing so it helps it helps killing the monster faster but it creates a lag sometimes on the dungeon so use this wisely um so if you're only using this integrate the damage is lower but then if you use it together as you can see in the description it says that attacking enemies hit by damnation will deal extra damage so if you see i'll i'm just using this integrate it'll just give me like about a hundred about a hundred damage but if i use damnation first and then i'll use disintegrate it'll goes for about 390 damage so that's why you'll use this skill both together and then last and then next we have shock impact and dot impact so shock impact if you just use it as it is it create like a mini stun like it paralyzed the monsters while still dealing damage and then dot impact if you're using together it'll you'll see those pink thingy around the rabbit it basically says that there's a there's a poison they were giving poison to the rabbit and then dealing while still dealing damage so that's what it says on dot impact 
it, the more intense the explosion will hit the enemy as you gather the impact's power in one spot. DOT damage can cause powerful DOT damage. So that's why you'll use this skill together. So you'll stun and then you create more damage and then it gives this poison to the monsters. And then we have Deadly Crest and Grand Sword. So Deadly Crest and Grand Sword, if you use Grand Sword just by itself, it gives accuracy. It it says added hit accuracy debuff effect on hits but this is a chance so you might not see it so if you see those blue thingy around the rabbit that means that the debuff accuracy actually goes through the monster but if you're not seeing those that means it's not when doesn't went through but then why you have to use deadly crash and grand sword together that's because it will it is a chance but it gives buff movement at an attack and i think defense too or maybe just or maybe just movement speed and attack so it is a chance so it might not work all the time but let's keep trying and i think it should be grand sword first or deadly crash first so, yeah and then you see the movement speed has increased buff plus 60 and attack plus 300 so that's why you'll have to use this two skill together Okay guys, so that's all about it for Renegade skill. I know you guys probably are confused on which one skill to have to take for Knight and Renegade because there's a lot of skill, but on the quick slot that I'm showing you right now is what you have to take basically. That's all like all the active skill that you have to take together with the passive. But if you still have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comment below. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like. Bye guys!